What's up, y'all? Let me give you some quick, undeniable proof that Jesus is both the Father and the Son. <clears throat> All right, first I want to go to the go-to scripture that many go to, and, and then I'm going to go to something that you might not have catched in another passage of scripture, and I could share many more, but this one will be quick. Okay, let's start to, start with the go-to scripture. In Revelation 22, um, <clears throat> verse 3 through 4. Let me make sure this is clear. All right. Okay, Revelation 22, verse 3 through 4. I'm trying to get it to focus in. Okay, it's not focusing as well as I want, but hopefully you read it yourself. Re it's Revelation 22, verse 3 through 4. I want to start with this one, and then I'm going to show you where um, the Apostle John calls the Father and Son him in another passage other than this one. Okay, look at this. <clears throat> And then there should be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Okay? So the throne of God is the throne of God and the Lamb. The Lamb is the Son. God is the Father. But I want you to see where the where the same John actually uses the words father and son and calls it him. This should be good enough for you to get the point. But I want you to see it in those words. Because we could say God and the lamb and, and anyone who understands who the lamb is understands that that's the son which was slain or the son which was the sacrifice and that God would be the father. And they would understand this scripture is talking about the father and the son by saying God and the lamb. And then it says his servants shall serve him. If you look in verse uh, four, um, by the way, it says his servants shall serve him, not his servants shall serve them or not their servants shall serve them. So John doesn't speak of the father and the son as of two separate persons. He calls it him. Verse 4 says, And they shall see his face. So it's only one face for God and the Lamb. And his name shall be in their foreheads. So it's only one name for God and the Lamb. That name is Jesus. Because you already know that the Lamb's name is Jesus. So the Father's name is Jesus also. They are one. The natures was distinct because when God created a body, the humanity is different than the spirit. <clears throat> so that's how he got the second nature. So the father who is always the father, that would be Jesus in spirit form. When he created a body and took on the body, then he consisted of a son. So the son is actually a nature that Jesus consists of. And that didn't happen until he took on flesh. So the son of God is not someone else. The son of God is something else that Jesus consists of. And God is not someone else. God is something else that Jesus consists of. That would be his spirit. Now let me show you where... The same John um, calls um, the father and the son him. But I want to show it to you somewhere else other than just this scripture, because here it says God and the lamb and his servants shall serve him. And those and those who don't understand who the lamb is or the details of lamb, then they might not be able to understand that's talking about the son. And that God is talking about the Father. But it calls it Him. 
But here I want you to see where the, the words father and son is actually used. And, and John again calls that him. He doesn't see it as two persons. Look at 1 John. The epistle John. 1 John. And let's look at verse 24. And we'll read down to 25. Now it's coming through a little blurry on my phone. Um, let me see if I can try to get that lens a little more clearer. <clears throat> I think it's just the lighting. So excuse that. I'm giving you the scripture anyway so you can go read it. You should read it in your Bible and see that it's there anyway. So this is First John, John, the second chapter. And I'm reading verse 24 through 25. Therefore, let that abide in you when you heard from the beginning. If what you if what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you will abide in the son and in the father. The son and in the father. Right. Now watch what he says about the Son and the Father in the next verse. And this is the promise that he promised us. Eternal life. Did you get that? The Son and the Father. And this is the promise that he, not they, not them, not two of them, this is the promise that he promised us, eternal life. Now, you see it right here, right? Do you see it in those words, y'all? You see father and son? This is the promise that he promised us? Is that very clear or what? So John is identifying the father and the son as him, as one person. Not two of them. So the father is something else about Jesus. That's talking about his spirit. That's the spirit that created the world. The son of God. That's something else about Jesus. Not someone else. Jesus is both. Otherwise, if, if Jesus was someone other than the father and the Son of God was a separate person, then it would be, this is the promise that they have promised us. Or, this is the promise that the Son heard from the Father. And He promised us what the Father promised. Or, He told us what the Father promised. No, it's speaking of this, the Father and the Son as one individual. Because the Father took on the flesh. So the, so the Son of God is the, the human nature of God. And all of that is part of Him. So that can't be a separate person. It's the same thing as your spirit and your body. All of it's you. Do you see? <clears throat> so that's what's going on. So I wanted to leave you with that. Again, this is the same John that spoke in Revelation 22 and 3 and called God and the Lamb him. And right here you see it again where the same John is calling Father and Son him. And he's using the words Father and Son, so you really can't go around that. Now again, this is the same John. Watch this. Furthermore, this is the same John that wrote... Uh, John 1.1, 1, 1, where he said, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He doesn't see two persons. He only sees one. He sees all of it as Jesus. There you have it, y'all. Peace.